In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a good example of how to approach the net in your singles play. And I'm going to be discussing with you guys the right and wrong ways to position yourself at the net, as well as where to aim your approach shot when you come forwards up to the net in singles. This is very, very important. Now, we're going to take a look. Uh, first of all, we've got Ben and Brian playing this point and this point was played in Palm Springs, California over the last Essential Tennis Clinic. Ben and Brian both came out and worked really hard at their games. You guys did a great job. Now Ben here hits a nice serve that kind of jams, kind of handcuffs Brian up a little bit. And we're going to take a look at Ben's response to Brian's weak shot. Ben does a really nice job doing a couple of things. First of all, he does a good job moving forwards, and he makes contact at waist height here. He takes his approach shot and gets Brian isolated to one side of the court. He does a good job getting Brian on the run, and Brian likes his forehand a little bit more than his backhand, but just the fact that Ben gets Brian on the run and, and off to one half of the court gives him a big advantage here. Now let's talk about positioning. Ben has hit his approach shot to the left, and notice where he's got himself. He's to the left of the court, I'm sorry, left of the center of the court, which is perfect. The reason why this is the right place to be is because it's, uh, it had, had Ben positioned himself in the middle of the court, he would leave open a lot of courts down the line. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Had Ben placed himself right here, and Brian had that running forehand, Brian would have a lot more courts from contact this way to hit to than he would if he hit at an angle this way. And in fact, if we just put these arrows in the same spot on both sides of the courts, you can see that had Ben placed himself right in the middle of the courts, this line going cross court from Brian's racket would be much easier for Ben to cover than the line going down the line from Brian's racket. And so by placing himself to the left side of the court, Ben has really put himself in a good spot to be able to cover the possible angles from Brian as he starts to try to hit a passing shot. Now, I also want to talk to you guys about cross court versus down the line. Now, on in this particular point, Ben kind of had his, his choice. I'm going to back it up here. And he had his choice because Brian's return landed almost exactly dead in the middle of the court. And so Ben here's a little bit to the left side of the court, but not very much. He's pretty much in the center of the court. Now, let's, uh, for the sake of argument here, Let's say that Brian's return was a little more to the left and Ben had hit his approach shot instead of where he is right now. He had made contact more over to the left, let's say right here. Now we saw where, uh, where Ben had positioned himself when he approached to the left. Let's say that he took this forehand from the red circle and hit it inside out or maybe even a backhand and hit it in uh, cross court over towards Brian's backhand. I'm gonna use a, a blue line for this. And let's say, let's say that the red circle is where Ben was standing if Brian's serve was a little more to the left. And let's say that Ben decided to take that shot and, appro and approach with a cross court shot. Now we know that he's supposed to position himself towards the side where he hit the ball, which means, I'm gonna go ahead and use yellow now which means that to position himself correctly, had he, hit his, had he hit his approach shot cross court, he would have had to move to probably right about here or so to correctly cover the angles. This is as opposed to if he hit his approach shot down the line, let's say to this spot, in which case he would have only had to have moved to about here to be in the right spot. So you can see that by approaching cross court, he gives himself a much greater distance to have to cover in order to adequately cover the angles that are possible on the court. And this is why approaching down the line is the smarter play in singles because it 
best puts you in a position right off the bat to actually cover the angles that are possible by your opponent. And this is really important to understand. If you guys play singles and you, you like to approach, and if you approach cross courts often, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage because you're leaving a lot of courts open, and it's much easier for, for your opponent to pass you down the line, or cross court for that matter, because if you're really scrambling to get yourself in the right spot, it can be pretty easy for them to hit behind you as you try to get yourself across the court to cover the biggest amount of space on the court. So, Ben, from where you're standing right here, I think what you did was excellent. You put yourself in a nice spot to cover the angles here from Brian, and you get rewarded. Brian tries to pass him cross court, and Ben easily covers it with one step. He doesn't put this volley away, but he's ultimately in, in control of the point. So guys, uh, really important stuff here. Make sure that you pay close attention to where you're aiming your approach shots and make sure you're paying close attention to where you position your, yourself on the court as well. It's Both those things are going to make a big difference when it comes to how successful you are to winning points at the net in singles play.